On today's Pet Pals TV, witness the magical motion of special horses. Watch the power of the pony as equine therapy helps special kids. The Heartland Film Festival honors the Australian movie Red Dog with its highest honor. We'll have an exclusive visit with the filmmaker of this feel-good family film. Plus, Patty visits with some homeless people who happen to have pets. An emotional visit to give you hope. All next on Pet Pals TV. Hello, (laughs) and welcome to Pet Pals. Louie is giving the universal salute. Oh. Here's what we do before every show. We wash our hands. (laughs) He did just before we go on. He goes, hello, hello, I'm ready to go on. I think, is it clean now? And the cuticles. Can you do something about the cuticles? (laughs) Well, as as you know, if you're a regular viewer, not only is he a great manicurist, but he is a therapy dog, that Louie of ours. Yes, and we are going to visit a ranch today. Not mm-hmm. therapy dogs, but therapy horses. horses. What this place does, it's called Morning Dove Therapeutic Riding Center. Yes, I didn't take Louie to this. Uh, <laughs> what they do is they, individuals, children or adults who have some sort of a disability, whether it's physical or mental, put them on a horse and guess what? Everything's better. Let's take a look. Their mission is to help individuals in need. Their claim to fame is lofty, yet surprisingly simple. Horses make it all better. This beautiful countryside in Zionsville, Indiana, is the perfect tranquil setting for a natural, yet safe therapy session. But this job is not an easy one. The seven horses and three ponies on the estate need to be groomed and prepared and saddled up for their patient riders. On this day, two boys are visiting. They are excited, as boys should be, about riding a horse. Are you gonna ride a horse? Yeah. Oh, is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> Which horse is your favorite horse? White. The white. The white one? The white one. Oh, I haven't seen the white one yet. You'll have to show me how to do it. Do you feel good when you're on the horse? Make yeah. you feel happy? Yes. Ready? Let's go ride. They also have to be able to really handle um, unbalanced riders on their backs, which is hard because um, you have people that, you know, um, the main thing about therapeutic riding is that it simula- simulates for your spine what it's like to actually walk. So you have a lot of people that are very unbalanced because they can't walk in normal life. Walk on! Enlisting the calm qualities of these special horses, it's called Equine Assisted Therapy Services. Here we go, we're going to stretch up high, see if you can grab some clouds. And the instructors and handlers here are very sure it's just what the doctor ordered. They're okay with people that may scream on their backs or um, have a tantrum. Um, They have to be okay with people having seizures on their backs. They have to be okay with uh, just all kinds of different situations. We usually, about one out of seven horses that are on trial make it to actually being a therapy horse. So it's a very select club. And the parents insist riding these horses is helping them. Oh, it makes him feel so good. Uh, He's got a speech delay, so it's brought his confidence up to use his words. It certainly has. He's pretty chatty. (laughs) He is. (laughs) When we started, he hardly had anything, so it was great. The horses are wonderful. They uh, give them self-esteem. They they work on listening skills and following through and following directions, and he's doing wonderful. He loves it here. Okay, let's go ahead and change directions and we can pick up our reins. The kids ride and play, but they are never without a handler hanging on to the reins. They are safe, yet 
free. But horses are also, they're herd animals. They like companions. They like to be with people, so they respond very naturally. They're very, very honest animals. They communicate very clearly if you know what you're looking for. And I think sometimes people just need that. Mm -hmm. They need things to be very black and white. They need to know that someone is going to respond positively to them regardless of what their disabilities are. Interested? Morning Dove accepts riders with physical, mental, emotional, or social disabilities. New participants are referred by physicians or therapists or word of mouth for adults and kids. And the clients can learn about grooming and riding and nature rides too if they wish. It's a unique therapy that provides joy and confidence. And happy trails to you. Louie, we're going to talk about a red dog instead of a, uh, what, black and uh, tan and, and tan white and white and uh, such dog. <laughs> this is a red dog that I was introduced to on one of the radio shows that I'm on every morning, Matt Rust at uh, WQME in Anderson. He was talking to these Heartland Film Festival filmmakers. Right, right, right. And I heard dog and my... My ears went up, <laughs> and when they told me the story, I thought that would be interesting for pet pals. And because you told me about it, see how things work? It's called communication. He told me about it, so we went to the uh, one of the, uh, the the screenings of Red Dog, sold out, by the way, yeah. and talked to the filmmaker and one of the stars of the show, and we got to see the movie, too. Which has gone on to win an award from the Heartland the Film Festival. The number one award from the Heartland Film Festival. <laughs> so here is Red Dog behind the scenes. Here at the AMC in Castleton, look at all these lovely people lined up to see a movie. Gee, we wonder what movie they're here to see. Could it be something from the Heartland Film Festival? Look, we have a star from the movie Red Dog. How are you today? Patty, we're great today. We've got another sellout here and uh, it's all getting a bit dull. No, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> We're thrilled with the way it's gone here. You, you, you can't imagine the astonishment that we happens when we look up and we see a, a sea of American faces loving our film. We're used to it back home, but to come bring it here, it's, it's wonderful. Now, Red Dog is here for the festival, but will it be opening soon nationwide? Can everybody look for it at a theater near them? Well, we anticipate early 2012, Patty. We think uh, we've got some uh, good people on the ground here with us. And, uh, and this helps, this momentum. Oh, this is the key. Ever since he became a union member, always in favor, say aye. Aye! He thinks he's got rights. All the sad faces in the world won't work, so you can just stop. Is he demanding more in his trailer now? More, more poodles, more dog bones? Well, I will tell you this. <laughs> he can't, uh, uh, we would be, we wanted to bring him along. Oh, yes. But to get him back in the country, uh, our producer Nelson would have been strung up in Australia if he tried to take that dog out of the country. He's a national hero. So, okay. so it hasn't gone to his head yet, I don't <laughs> think. You might have to ask Nelson about that. He lives with him. This movie is based on a true story. A real dog, right? It's true, there really was a real red dog and there's a statue to this day erected in the town in the outback in Dampier. What were the special challenges you had in doing a movie like this? From what I see, it, I mean, you covered a wide expanse and then of course you're dealing with the dog, so what were the special challenges? Look, it was a hard movie to make, but I had an incredibly passionate crew of filmmakers that really wanted to see this film get made. And uh, we worked together as a team and uh, people seem to be enjoying it now. Okay. If someone is looking at this and they go, how long, what does it take to put a movie like this together? How long did it take you to put this together? Well, it took me seven years and when I started... Seven years? I, seven years and I had long blonde hair. Now what's left of it is grey, so this, that's what filmmaking does to you. When people keep repeating... <laughs> Go and sit there, when the red sit there. Stop that! Now be a gentleman and move over. But you can see me getting Festival. We won the, um, the award for best film, which is a thrill for us, and I think being involved with this Heartland Film Festival has made our endeavours just that easier to get us over the line. So without Heartland, people wouldn't be seeing our film, which is so special. He's a dog! Once Oliver was lost, the chill settled in. How will you tell your daughter? Will she ever hear his paws dance in the hall again? Is he even okay? Thankfully, Invisible Fence Brand has kept over two million tails wagging happily and safely in their yards and nowhere else. No running into traffic, no upset neighbors, just pure freedom for you and your dog. For a special limited time offer, visit invisiblefence.com TV. 
Closed captioning for Pet Pals TV brought to you by Relay Indiana and in track featuring the caption telephone phone service. Because of my hearing loss, I avoided answering the phone. My CapTel phone allows me to read what the other person is saying. If you or someone you love suffers from hearing loss, please look into getting a CapTel phone. It's easy. See what you're hearing. Scout and Zoe's want to give you a treat every week. Sign up for the Pet Pals TV Weekly Dish. The newsletter serves up pet-friendly events, video pics, and local adoptable pets. Sign up as a member of PetPalsTV.com to get the Weekly Dish. Sponsored by Scout and Zoe's Allergy-Free Pet Shoes. Fetch some today at ScoutandZoe's.com. An interesting story on Pet Pals that uh, you brought us about uh, homeless people mm -hmm. who we don't think of as having uh, dogs or cats or mm -hmm. whatever, don't think of as, as having pets. Here in Indianapolis, there are about a thousand people who are homeless, mm -hmm. and some of them have pets. So I went with uh, one of the guardian angels, and we went and had a visit, and we had a nice time. It's quite beautiful on a crisp fall day, a lovely view of the city of Indianapolis from the banks of the White River. But closer inspection reveals a not-so-pretty fact of life. There are people living here. Randy Howard, the chapter leader of the Guardian Angels, takes us to one of the makeshift campsites. He knows and helps these homeless folks, over a thousand of them scattered around the area. And he helps their pets, too. How long have the Guardian Angels been here in Indianapolis? Well, we started October 9th of last year, so shortly to be a year. Okay. And your what is the mission of the Guardian Angels? Well, actually, we're here to check on on them to make sure they're safe, and we're, our main mission is to fight crime. But we want to make sure they're not subject to gangs and, and mm -hmm. um, bad activity. Okay. And now your extra mission is to make sure the pets of these folks are well, that okay kinda, too. Patty, that kind of goes along with it, you know, because that's part of their family. And so you know, we do have compassion for their pets and we want to make sure they're taken care of. John is one of the members of this small group. John, how long have you been here? Uh, two years. Well, year on the other side and year on this side. Okay. You had a job at one point in time. You have a trade, right? Right. What do you do? I'm an accountant. Why can't you get a job? age basically. John is also the one who found Girl, a very pregnant, abandoned, abused dog who had puppies by the river. John and his buddies rescued the mother dog and gave shelter to them. Ironic that these people who have little or no shelter cared enough to construct a home for the dogs. You didn't adopt her, she adopted you. She adopted me. Do you feed your pets? Yes, we do. We got people bring us food, so we got Puppy food and regular oh, dog food, and, okay. and we got, So you have donations. People know you have pets, and then right. they'll donate some food to you. Yeah, Marty helps us with, with other stuff too. So yeah, we have a lot of people who really like pets that, that will help us take care of them. Mike comes to me proudly showing off his eight-week-old puppy from the litter. He's named him Spot. Well, uh, the uh, first guy, I, mean, I can hold him in one hand. Now it takes two. He's about the biggest of all the group. Oh really? Now. Yeah. And the rest of them right over here, if you want to see them. Okay. Another incredible irony, all of the puppies have homes with this group. All are claimed. What does the what do the dogs give you though? Do they give you a sense of belonging? They give you a sense of, of companionship? Of oh love? yeah, they do. They they're they depend on you and you know it, so you try to be a little bit better than you normally would on cattle. Pets bring out the best people on the whole. But what about the health of the dogs? Marty Lamar, a concerned private citizen, visits this area regularly. She has raised funds so the mother dog will be spayed soon, and the puppies have all been dewormed and gotten flea meds. They're in good shape. Basically, it's just trying to outreach to the um, some different nonprofit organizations. Um, I got two on the line, which have been helping uh, a little bit, getting in progress. So um, we've got the mama dog to be scheduled to be spayed. And, oh, and all good. that. Oh, her. good, yep. good, good. Yeah. Okay. So you just go to people and tell them what's going on, and you're sort of the representative for the yeah, folks I'm here just... and the dogs. Yep. Right. Yep. I'm just begging. What is perhaps a great comment on life is that all the dogs are healthy and thriving. They're loved and cared for 24 7. They are needed. Hey, and what's your first name? Robert. Robert. And what's your puppy's name? Cora. Cora. <laughs> She is just gorgeous. She loves you, doesn't she? Yes, she does. She's spoiled. <laughs> and she loves the microphone, too. <laughs> so, you're going to take good care of her? Yes, sir. 
I bet you will. Okay. Yes, I bet he will. And they're happy animals. Yeah. Because you're with them all the time, 24-7. Right. You don't lock them in a cage. You don't leave them alone. That's, that's the good thing. You're also very good with animals, aren't you? I try to be. Okay. What if someone's seeing this and they say, I want to hire John to help me take care of my animals, maybe some sort of a caretaker or, or a trainer. Would you be interested in working with pets? Sure. You know, whatever I can do, I'd be willing to do. Okay. You know, I, I enjoy animals. I've done a lot of work from warehouse all the way up to accounting, so whatever. Okay. Well, clearly, I mean, girl, your dog picked you, so maybe someone will see this and maybe they'll pick you as well to help them. Okay. Right. That sounds good. The afternoon wears on and our visit is over. We watch John making his way through the bushes to the river camp. And we see the one-time discarded dog girl following him. She is happy because she is no longer homeless. If you wish to donate money or items or maybe offer John a job, please go to the Guardian Angels website for more information. And we thank you for caring about pets and people. It's still hard to believe Oliver just ran away. Why take the chance? Invisible Fence Brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. She doesn't belong to me, she belongs with me. She's my friend, my family, my confidant, and I want to do everything I can to return the favor. That's why I choose Holistic Select Cat Food. The wholesome, natural ingredients and perfectly balanced nutrition she deserves. Holistic Select, pet food for the pet wise parent. To learn more about Holistic Select recipes for cats and dogs, and to find Holistic Select at a pet specialty retailer near you, visit HolisticSelect.com. Hi, I'm Mr. Motion, Mike White, President of Body in Motion Personal Training. And are you ready to bring out the best in you? Then come give Body in Motion a try, where you'll get the most affordable, results-driven workouts you can get. And tell them Mr. Motion sent you. The Milano Inn. You've enjoyed our Italian dining for years. Now enjoy our new relaxing courtyard with beautiful views of downtown. And on Sundays this summer, bring your dog to Puppies, Pasta, and Bacci. From 4 to 9 p.m., enjoy our courtyard with a full menu. 10% of the proceeds will be donated to a local animal shelter. Hi, Gina LaGrada here at Milano Inn with Oliver, proud sponsor of Pet Pals TV. We're committed to bring you good news about pets and people. Puppies, Pasta, and Bacci, Sundays at the Milano Inn. And we're back on Pet Pals. Uh, we're used to seeing the uh, the dogs that help out with people that are uh, you know that are blind, and they've right. got the little the dog has the little vest on. This is a story about <laughs> a dog. I know you want to wear one too. A dog he does with... have his vest at home. He didn't want to wear it today. <laughs> yes, he didn't want to be all showy uh, today. <laughs> but these dogs put on the vest, and they help uh, people who have hearing problems. Uh, his name is Allie. She's a sweet little dog, and we are going to now find out how she wakes people up in the morning, especially her mistress. That's the sound that sends Allie into action. Allie is a service dog. In this case, a service dog for the hearing impaired. The benefit now is twofold. Number one, she helps wake me up in the morning. I have her trained to a certain sound on my phone, which I use for an alarm, whether it be waking up in the morning, whether it be cooking and you know the timer goes off. So when she hears this particular so um, sound, she comes and finds me. Suzanne is profoundly hearing impaired. It started at age 12 and has steadily progressed. Without her two high-powered aids, she would be totally deaf. Before Allie, Suzanne had another hearing dog, Barney, and she points out that while Labs and Goldens make good guide dogs with their calm nature, some of the smaller, more active breeds, such as Allie, make good hearing dogs. Uh, she was also a shelter dog, and then sh she was identified for being very, very intelligent and very responsive and eager to please. Those are all qualities of any service dog, but especially with hearing dogs because there are so many, again, noises and distractions, and there's only certain key things you want them to do. It's not like, you know, um, a seeing eye dog where it's constantly working, she's got to sit very quietly and wait till she hears that very specific sound to remind me. Brian knows how to be accommodating to Suzanne's disability. Allie, she's very keen on um, making some, some growling type noises and barking, even if it's just a cat outside at night. Uh -huh. she, she has radar. As a matter of fact, one time I was here at the house 
and Allie ran to the front door exactly three minutes before Suzanne drove up the driveway. And I know that dogs have that capability. This one definitely has that capability. And her son Nico is also aware of how to deal with a mom who can't hear well. But it's Allie who gives Suzanne her sense of well-being and safety. So I have to work so much harder than other people do. And then you've got, you know, one of these little girls. And Sadie. You know, she's Sadie. always she's always happy to see you. You know, she just Sadie. makes you feel feel better just by the silly little things they do or the ways that they do help you. Do you think it's a tough job for this service dog? Nope. Once Allie's vest is off, she and their other pet dog enjoy a good romp in the wooded backyard. So, there's a time to work and a time to play. And then there's time for hugs and kisses. And that's the ultimate reward for a job well done. Say hello to Suzanne and me at ALDA, which stands for the Association of Late Deafened Adults. The National Conference will be held downtown Indianapolis at the Embassy Suites, October 26th through the 30th. And I'll be speaking on the 26th. For more information, go to ALDA.org. Also, as the spokesperson for Here Indiana, I invite you to the Listening and Spoken Language Conference on October the 28th in Carmel, Indiana. For more information there, go to hearindiana.org. We don't have to suffer in silence anymore. It can be heartbreaking to see an animal suffer for, from abuse or neglect. There are a number of legal steps that you can take to protect an animal that you see suffering in such a way. In an emergency situation where an animal's life or health is in danger, call your local law enforcement or 911 immediately. If the animal's life is not in danger, but you suspect neglect, it may be productive to approach the guardian and offer assistance. There are times when the caretaker of the animal is blind to their ability to offer the appropriate care for the animal or animals in their care. If the guardian of the animal is not approachable, or if you suspect the animal suffering from abuse as well as neglect, alert the animal control shelter about the situation immediately. It will be important for you to take photographs or video of what you've seen. If you have questions, contact me at PetPalsTV.com. I'm Gary Miller, and be a responsible pet owner. This Humane Society of Johnson County segment on Pet Pals TV is made possible by Dryer Reinbold Subaru. Dryer and Reinbold Subaru of Greenwood on US 31 South and at DryerReinboldSubaru.com. Charlie always waited faithfully for you, but now that he's lost, it's you waiting for him. Put your mind at ease. Invisible Fence Brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. Don't call me a pet owner. I'm a lot more than that. I'm a coach, a companion, a parent, and a friend. I have to make choices for my dog that he can't make for himself. I like to ensure that he has the best quality of life possible. So I choose Holistic Select. Holistic Select, pet food for the pet wise parent. Made in Mishawaka, Indiana. Holistic Select is available at pet specialty retailers. To learn more, visit HolisticSelect.com. To celebrate the success of the Paul and Tom Internet Radio Show, we've built a brand new set. Paul, I don't see a set. <laughs> don't you worry. We'll fix that in post. Visit paulandtomshow.com. 
as we well know, it's often hard to catch cats on camera, unless it's like a home video, because mm -hmm. you bring a camera in and they're like, I don't want to do this. But we did find a cat that loved the camera and is a therapy cat. A therapy cat named Popeye because he has just one eye. Just one eye. The law firm of Miller Meyer LLP is proud to sponsor the Humane Society of Indianapolis on Pet Pals TV. We encourage responsible pet ownership. Enjoy the show with Dina and me. The care of hundreds of critters is the primary concern of the caring folks at the Humane Society of Indianapolis. And almost every day, surgeries are going on behind these walls. And today, it's kitten spay and neuter day. An early morning wake-up call finds these vets and vet techs already in surgery. Trying to reduce the number of stray and unwanted cats is a constant battle, and neutering is key in the overpopulation of felines. Not only are the humans hard at work, but so is Popeye. Yes, Popeye, the one-eyed cat, is a mascot who roams freely in the shelter, and he has an important job. He cuddles, nuzzles, and inspects the kittens as they're recovering from surgery. The staff says he's an integral part of the team and his work is vital. He came to us injured. Um, he had a um, eye condition when we needed to do what's called um, an eye enucleation where we remove the eye so that it wouldn't be painful for him anymore. He came down and started living in surgery and then it slowly we realized that he had a special gift for recovering the animals. Oh, I'm very protective of him. <laughs> I only want to lose him for our hospital cat. He's great. It says Popeye, surgery assistant. Oh, my special guy. They <laughs> love him. So Popeye is very happy with his full-time job, making sure there are no catastrophes in the operating room. Are you on Facebook? Find us and like our PetPalsTV.com fan page. Lisa Marciano shared this picture of her dog Ginger, a miniature schnauzer who likes to sleep in on Saturday mornings. Make sure Ginger's up by 1030, would you? And here's Lisa's chihuahua named Diamond showing off her Barbie dress. It's a Barbie world. And Diamond loves to go for a car ride. So much to see. She doesn't know where to look first. Speaking of cool rides, meet Bentley, a Bernese mountain dog and a therapy dog who loves to go cruising with the top down. Thanks to Janet Myers for sending this picture along. And finally, two pals, Roxy and Henry, doing what they do best, just looking cute. Michelle Eilerman posted these photos to our PetPalsTV.com page. Henry is a basset hound and Roxy's the lab. Share your pets' photos on our Facebook page, and you may see them here on Pet Pals TV. Well, that's it, but you can always rewind. If you miss something or if you want to share something that you watched today with some friend or whatever. Well, Facebook, was, too, yeah. on Facebook. We're on Facebook. We're on PetPalsTV.com. We're on Comcast On Demand. We're on YouTube. YouTube also. Uh -huh. With all the funny dog and kitty videos, right? <laughs> we're everywhere. <laughs> What's that? Hello? Are you lost? Do you need water? Cheeky bugger. It was a crazy place when Red Dog arrived in Dampier. Get ready to get wild. Mm. <laughs>